Today here at the camp, we're getting all kinds of peachy with it, exploring the world of peach whiskeys. So come on in, pull up a chair, because my top pick just might surprise you. Welcome to the Liquor Camp, where we are lovers and explorers of all things liquor. From whiskey to tequila, vodka, rum, beer, wine, and everything in between. If it comes in a bottle or a can, we're gonna try it and we're gonna tell you what we think. So let's talk about peach whiskey. In the world of flavored whiskey, peach seems to be a pretty popular trend lately, with most distillers jumping in and trying their hands at it. So we decided to go out and get as many as we could get our hands on and try them for you because that's what we love to do here at the liquor camp. That way, you don't make the same mistakes we ended up making, and you get a great bottle on your first try. When it comes to peach whiskey, there seems to be two main styles that distillers are going for. One is the candy peach ring flavor, where you really don't know that you're drinking whiskey, but you feel like you're drinking a liquid candy peach. The second, seems to be more of a whiskey forward flavor profile. They want you to know that you're drinking whiskey, but they do have a great peach flavor on the back end. My top picks today are one of each of those categories and one that was just like a rogue missile that came in and stood all on its own and actually ended up being my ultimate favorite. So there is a third category that we do need to talk about really quickly and those are the mistakes. That way you don't waste your money like we like to do. Jim Beam Peach and American Born Peach just simply fell short, which is really surprising to me because I really like Jim Beam. They make a great bourbon that is consistent and one of my go-tos when I'm out. So it was really surprising and disappointing that they really didn't do well with peach. It's too sweet, it comes off more like cough syrup. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get on to the good stuff. Coming in at number three and the top pick of our candy peach category is Crown Royal Peach. Crown Royal is distilled in Manitoba, Canada, and this is part of their flavored series. They claim that they use fresh Georgia peaches in this, so it is also a seasonal release, which because of its popularity can make it a little difficult to find. I actually didn't get a hold of this until we traveled to a different state, so that's how difficult it is to find in our area. Let's see what it is on the nose. I get candy immediately when I smell this. It's a bright, fruity smell, but it is a candy smell. I immediately think of peach rings and the candy aisle at the grocery store. The taste is pretty much the same. However, I do get some of the whiskey in there as well. So it's maybe mama's peach rings. <laughs> It's fantastic. It's a really fruity, bright, smooth whiskey. And it, it really would be good with anything you put it in. Sweet tea, Sprite, ginger ale, anything like that. This would be a fantastic choice. It is a little bit more expensive, coming in at around $30 a bottle. So if you can't get a hold of it in your area because of popularity, demand, or because you don't want to really want to stretch to $30 a, a bottle, Old Smoky Tennessee Peach Whiskey or Ugly Dog would be fantastic alternatives to Crown Royal Peach, but this is a really great whiskey and it's number three for a week. <laughs> Coming in at number two and the top pick of our more whiskey forward category is Bird Dog Peach Flavored Whiskey. Bird Dog comes to us from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and it is a higher proof than any of the ones I've tried coming in at 80. They are also a more affordable option than the Crown Royal Peach coming in at $16 a bottle. Let's see how they do on the nose. So I smell whiskey first. I do smell peach, but it's a more natural peach than the Crown Royal. And it's on the back end. pretty good. I get the whiskey immediately and I get that burn right there in the um, right there in the mouth that you get with whiskeys in general. However, I do get that natural peach, really good yummy flavor on the back end and it, it, it leaves you with a really good finish. I like this one, but I am a whiskey girl. So this one's much more up my alley than, than the candy peach category. 
I like this a lot and it is really widely available. However, if you can't get this one for some reason or if you want to try a different one in the whiskey forward category, Evan Williams Peach Whiskey is a great alternative. Quick PSA, please always drink responsibly. Go out there and have fun, but please be safe. Also, if you like what you've seen here at the liquor camp so far, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can come and explore the world of liquor with us. Last but not least, my top pick and ultimate favorite peach flavored whiskey is in a category all of its own. This is Whiskey Girl Peach Flavored Whiskey and it comes to us from Hilton Head, South Carolina and Hilton Head Distillery. We got this one when we were on a trip in South Carolina and decided to just pick this one up because we were getting a bunch of peach flavored whiskeys and this one was on the shelf and it was about $40 a bottle so we decided to go ahead and grab it. I'm all about the lips on the front so it just called to me that and I am a whiskey girl so again the name just called to me. The nose when you smell this one you immediately get brown sugar and peach and it almost smells like a peach pie. It's a very balanced, very sweet, but very yummy smell. When you taste it, you get a whiskey flavor almost in the, in the beginning of it, but then you also start to get that peach and brown sugar and baked pie crust in there too. It is an extraordinarily balanced flavor, very smooth. I feel like I wanna get in a bathtub and just soak with a bottle of this <laughs> and not even put it in a glass. I would just drink it straight from the bottle. It's that good. I like this one for a reason. It's a fantastic bottle. It's a great pick. Not widely available. I actually, I, I can't get this in my area unless I go online, but it's worth the time and trouble to do that. It's also a little bit more expensive than the rest, but again, this is so fantastic. I would recommend that you get as many bottles as you can of it. Because it's a little bit hard to find, I am gonna go ahead and include a link to their website in the description below so that you have a place to go and get it. Hurry before I do. So those are my top picks for peach flavored whiskey. I wanna thank you guys for stopping by at the liquor camp today. And remember, everybody's tastes are different, so my favorites may not be yours, but there is always fun to be had in every bottle. So please let us know what your latest flavor of fun is in the comments below, and we'll see y'all back here at the camp. <laughs> I could do it. You would get into my... Oh.